Watch the real-life program about exceptional destinies, remarkable opportunities, and unbelievable facts right now. There's an hourglass, chemicals, a thermometer, and mirror. It seems strange that there are no heaps of sheets of paper or small jars containing dried spiders on the table. He's considered a real wizard in the scientific sphere. His articles are published in Russia and New York. He can predict earthquakes, make water come alive, and put a person into a trance using quite scientific methods. He studies plasma, which is the fourth state of matter. Viktor Inushin is an academic who can see the unseen. Devoting oneself to science is the most important thing. In short, it's like religious fanaticism. When you adhere to it, you can make major breakthroughs. A spiraling race. How can science keep up with mysticism? Hydroplasma. Does water have a soul? Hearing an earth tremor. What do pyramids protect us from? We're going downstairs. He started walking along the corridors of the Kazakh State University in 1958 when he was a student. Half a century has passed and now he's a luminary of science. We're going to an experimental laboratory which is in the basement. It is a necessary condition because the connection with the Earth should be at a maximum. The main measurement for the city of Almaty is here. If it's constant, it means we'll be safe. Nothing will be damaged and nobody will die. If it changes, all the mass media will announce that a severe earthquake is expected four or five days in advance. The main requirement for testing suspended animation of a living thing is preventing oxygen penetration. If oxidation occurs, it will lose its bioplasma. A frozen wooden stone is sealed here. A Qian Shan Fu and Larch are the most suitable kinds. However, the academic explains that bacteria and other living things can be used as two. The signal is amplified here, and the millivoltmeter shows the potential. This data can be recorded on a computer. He's been recording everything for 30 years. This device registers data about earth tremors constantly. It reads the changes in the plasma of living biomass. Now we can see that everything is in a normal condition. Every year, up to half a million earthquake tremors occur on Earth. An earthquake lasts from 10 to 30 seconds. This area is situated five to 700 kilometers from Almaty. Even if a magnitude nine earthquake hits the area, it'll be still safe for Almaty. In the 1980s, this theory bordering on heresy provoked a real controversy. He always contradicted popular beliefs. It took them three years to approve his PhD in Moscow. He and a group of his followers were the first to start work on using laser for therapeutic purposes in the world. Nobody believed any positive result of this work. I thought it critically about the comments, although sometimes they were absurd. I thought that they could be right and had to check various things again. I checked them and then provided proof. Later, when they came to apologize, I felt satisfied. Up. I go and find an anomaly. So here it is, moving from the northeast to the southwest. It isn't wide. The professor says they were warned about the great earthquake in Japan a month before it occurred, but nobody believed them. 
An earthquake is expected in the Far East. Take measures to ensure nuclear power plant security in Japan. However, they didn't pay much attention to it, thinking, they're in Kazakhstan, what can they do? According to NASA, the earthquake which hit Japan in 2011 shortened the length of each day by almost two microseconds because it caused the Earth to rotate faster. The earthquake moved the ocean seabed by 16 meters vertically and 50 meters horizontally. The movement of the ocean bottom increased the Earth's wobble on its axis by 17 centimeters. He's confident that nature itself encourages innovation in seismology. We only confirm the mechanism conveyed in the biosystem. Inyushin is not afraid of any horror stories because he works to prevent them. If you're a forewarned, you are forearmed. Now there is a terrible war between the computer and the human brain. The transformation of negative energy is another topic which the academician works on. Pyramids helped. What does the top of a pyramid do? It collects all the bioplasma and it goes there. The pyramids have been fighting against geo anomalies in Almaty for 30 years. They're a kind of site or talisman. They're situated on the most dangerous crossroads and main roads. This idea leads to making pyramids which are higher and more powerful. The sun is plasma, the temperature of which is millions of degrees, but here the plasma is cold. We use the same pieces of plasma that they're cold and well organized. They can be plasma interaction between us. My body is 2.3 meters and probably can reach 7 meters and then they intersect. Vladimir Inyushin has never been lost in his thoughts. In his childhood, he already knew what occupation to choose. He was born in Leningrad and grew up in Uskamenogorsk. His father headed the construction of the first hydroelectric power station in Kazakhstan. I don't know why, but I was interested in birds. My father brought books such as Game Birds Atlas from Moscow. They started publishing interesting books after the war. I studied these things when I was only about eight or ten, and I became so keen on it that I had to choose where I would study. He says that the chairman of the USSR Council of Ministers, Georgi Malenkov, himself wanted to send him to Moscow. However, Viktor Inushin chose Almata, or it was Almata that chose him. It's a geo-anomaly node spreading from China and Japan. I wanted to be here and contribute something. There were a lot of our people there, while there weren't so many of them here, and it was necessary to help. Then he became interested in all living things and thought how to show them through numbers. It doesn't know what exerts influence on it, but it's a sphere. The bioplasma of this black cat is registered here. He studied English, physics and chemistry. It was easy for him both to enter university and study there. His teachers are looking at him from the walls around. They are the academic Dombrovsky, the famous chemists Sokolsky and Usunovich. All of them arrived in Kazakhstan in the 1930s and science flourished up to the 1950s. Of course, the buildings of the university were in terrible condition. However, the staff members were brilliant. Actually, our health is the most important thing, especially our mental health. Now the world has encountered a lot of problems connected with this. Again, there's chaos and the initial singularity is like a new level of consciousness. Well, it includes various revolutions.
The initial singularity is a unit of space-time. It contained the whole matter in our universe. The Big Bang was the process during which the initial singularity expanded. He discovered biogenic water. In Inushin's opinion, it's the source of our health. First bacteria, then Daphnia species and rats were used to test it. Afterwards, he tried it on himself. I haven't taken any medicine for almost 50 years. I proved that it was possible to use various kinds of biogenic water to treat infections, flu, gastrointestinal diseases, women's health problems, and keep the endocrine system healthy and fight autoimmune diseases. Do you know how many troubles allergies cause? Such installations are already used in various cities of Kazakhstan and countries in the world. They're used in Russia, Italy and Israel. China and South Korea are interested in them too. A long time ago in the 1970s, it was shown to the Iranian Shah. He was shown how magically it healed burns. They shared their experience with him. We tried treating burns without using any antibiotics and thanks to this water, they healed completely. When the Shah saw the experiment, he was surprised. A person's legs and arms were burnt, and only the burnt bones were seen. We tried using this water experimentally five times, and the burns healed. Water has a memory which is represented as a hologram when water is frozen, boiled, or cleansed. The biogenic water is there. It has 9.96 picofarads. As for distilled water, it contains 29.1 picofarads, while tap water has 7.63 picofarads. Can you see the difference? Solar flares exert considerable influence on people too. It's not enough to invent. You also need to prove that it's effective, which is the most difficult part. I mean, putting it into practice. Many inventions haven't been put into practice yet, although they were invented over 50 years ago. An ability to prove something requires erudition, knowledge of natural science, and experimental technique. However, sometimes these abilities and knowledge are not enough. You shouldn't be overcome with euphoria. It often seems you've hit the bull's eye, where in fact you've made a mistake. According to Inushin, a new period in physics has already begun. Einstein's ideas are already outdated, and we need to develop a new physics theory. We've entered a parallel universe, a third world. Physicists entered these second and third worlds, and they need three or four more years. Anyway, there are already holes to enter that world. Inushin was among the first people who joined the anti-nuclear movement. He says what we do to our world leaves a trace on it. Nuclear explosions and electromagnetic radiation bring destruction slowly but surely. Humanity as a species can disappear. The question about whether it's true or not was addressed in the 1990s. The newspaper wrote about it. It said that degradation and destruction of the whole Eurasia and complete disintegration of everything might occur. Fear always makes a person vulnerable. Inushin thinks that we should strengthen our biofield. He hasn't completed the water tests yet. Now he's working on anti-cancer drugs. The Japanese tried it and 25 out of 30 people going through an advanced stage of cancer were cured, although they had inoperable cancer. It's really interesting. Ill people suffer a lot and their pain disappears. This spiritual gratitude of the community enables a person to work further. He's both a wizard and biophysicist who can ask questions and find answers to them. In fact, life is just an anti-entropic force having a giant potential in the initial singularity. Have you understood what life is? No, because it's too difficult.